Residents of Damang in the Jobing municipality of the Shanti region practice open defecation as their only toilet facility is in a deplorable state. Women and children in the community ease themselves in plastic bags and dump it on a refuse dump while the men are exposed to health and safety risks when attending to nature's call in the dilapidated structure. Others walk long distances to the adjoining Abisim community to use its 16-seater public toilet. In a commemoration of World Toilet Day today, correspondent Beatrice Spielgarbram interacted with some of the residents and has filed this report. Toilet Day today, we have pitched camp at Abisim Daman in the Jabin Municipal Assembly in the Ashanti region. Behind me is an old public toilet which is not functional now because of how dilapidated the facility is. Because of the stench and the danger that the facility poses to the community members here, most of them, especially the women, prefer to defecate in polythene bags and throw them away. How serious is this challenge for community members here as we mark World Toilet Day? We are buying a mufemu. A how the Febby Bree Mupa, if they may fear any into toilets, no, I say. A mat toilet, what one once na a di arabe bray bray, Mrs. Mrs. Sapepes, who won a pepper, no more, a yana a big go, no more bob when in an anamashe, not to bread a ye bray be panty, sremwala, Monfayan qua eh, near moire toilet, no, is a baby or moire and quiet dear, ye 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 ye. A mat it's you, man paying forty seven, quite best no more fast one with Jamonai. A part so ye never be in ye and I, a big ye and I just see a cock no take away, near the cock, take away near the politin. And to near the Acotuo Bola Nesso, Yavan Cotusun, so near the Abatuo, a Yeniso, the Sua, or Goyesa, or John Sansua, or Cotola to fear, no Baba Shiagu, and Raymo. A yes, I'm to fear her near to me a bomb and can can kind, may care be said, John So, Miss A Hammy Pa, a Hyamitin, a ha, a draining like a crabbe two o'clock more, not a two can 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 kind. Oh dear, Michelle Abetia. What's what's Yes, so these are some of the community members here at Abisim Daman who are complaining about the poor state of their toilet facility. For the women, they cannot go there, so what they would have to do is to ease themselves in black polythene bags. The assemblyman or the immediate past assemblyman for Abisim Daman electoral area to speak to him as to some efforts that he's made to get a toilet facility for the people here. Say... Eh, what's me to an amount of crap? So, Bwama, Abisim Daman Hano, Yenya, toilet facility, a mac room banana. Your toilet, yes, you hoi, men can't men can't and your manuma, a blue bear in fear dunum. Now, and I'm set on my toilet and not in sewer for Montino and Chebiana say it. May buy, you know, yea, yea, a sewer, you may be a said, I was here, ye be a. Then I'm set toilet now for dinner for Montino. Oh, yeah, yes, it's here, and I say, Emma Ghana first project. Gana almost as here, no, Miss Anchebiana, and Pupia by a set a year in the pan with Jenny Mono, you know. Says here, Menomoca say, Nanaima, say, Oh, share your toilet, a yes, here, a cahoya. Now, her if I shall, yes, that is a yes, you know, bear six months more and chair your crab. Aha, ya, a cahoya, ye yamwa, oh, Messer, sir, and penny form lum. Now, Gana first budget, no, Mr. Taya Cahono. Sir, she can in my crana. You heard me speak with the assemblyman for the immediate past assemblyman for Abisim Daman electoral area who is corroborating what the community members are saying that they indeed find it very difficult to attend to nature's call.
All right, so that's Beatrice Piogabra, Ashanti Regional Correspondent, there with an update. I mean, that's a clear case of a, you know, a situation that we can talk about in other parts of the country. Even here in the capital, Accra, we have reported cases of people still openly defecating and then also the fact that there are lack of proper toilet facilities in homes. One house, one toilet would be ideal, wouldn't it? Let's find out what some of the figures are from the United Nations regarding um, you know, the availability of toilets and whether or not uh, people have access to it as we mark the day today. Clearly, the figures do not seem to be uh, speaking too well. So a total of 4.2 billion people live without safely managed sanitation, more than half the global population, more than half the global population are without properly managed uh, toilet facilities. 673 million people still practice open defecation worldwide, and Ghana is among that 673 million people, or some Ghanaians fall within that category. And these are figures from the United Nations, so it is from a, uh, you know, a, a regular trusted source. Inadequate sanitation is estimated to cost 432,000. That is over 400 people uh, are infected with diarrhea and deaths related to diarrhea every year and it is a major factor in diseases such as intestinal worms, trachoma and schistosomiasis. So it tells you that the unavailability of toilets has ripple effects, not just the fact that it, it makes the, uh, the environment insanitable, but then to the health of individuals it also causes a problem. 297,000 children, almost 300,000 children under the age of five are estimated to die each year from diarrhea as a result of unsafe drinking water, sanitation and hand, um, hand hygiene or the fact that they do not wash their hands properly uh, you know, when they need to do things. Children under the age of five living in countries affected by protracted conflicts are on average nearly 20 times more likely to die from diarrhea diseases caused by lack of um, safe water sanitation and hygiene than by direct violence. So although they are in countries that are protracted and have conflicts, they are more likely to die from hygiene related causes than from guns or bullets or such uh, social vices and attacks. And that is quite staggering and that's something we need to all be thinking about. The loss of productivity to water and sanitation related diseases costs many countries up to 5% of their GDP. And I can safely say that Ghana is also losing some money th through its GDP because of our lack of having proper sanitation and proper water, um, you know, clean water running through our pipes, and then also the lack of toilets in certain areas, even here in Accra, that I cannot mention their names because they are all trying to put in efforts to sort out their problems out. In Ghana, only 15% of the overall 29 million people have access to safe latrines. Look at that number, 15%. 15% of Ghanaians have the right requisite uh, you know, um, access to toilet facilities, safe toilet facilities or latrines, be it public or private uh, toilet facilities. And 87.5% of the population are without decent toilets. And that is also another cause for concern. So it is not just um, the fact that uh, we need to ease ourselves for health reasons, but then for the environment as well, we need to start having these kinds of conversations for our own good.